Chelsea FC from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Chelsea Football Club, also known as the Blues or previously the Pensioners, are an English professional football club based in West London. Founded in 1905, they play in the Premier League and have spent most of their history in the top tier in English football. They have had two broad periods of success, one during the 1960s and early 1970s, and the second from the late 1990s to the present day. Chelsea have won three league titles, three FA Cups, four League Cups and two UEFA Cup Winners' Cups. During the 2005-2006 season, they became Premier League champions for the second consecutive year. Chelsea's home is the 42,055 capacity Stamford Bridge Football Stadium in Fulham, West London, where they have played since their foundation. Despite their name, the club are based just outside the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, in the London Borough of Hammersmith and Fulham. In 2003, the club were bought by Russian oil tycoon Roman Abramovich. The club's traditional kit colours are royal blue shirts and shorts with white socks. Their traditional crest is a ceremonial blue lion holding a staff. A modified version of this was adopted in 2005. Chelsea are one of the best supported clubs in the UK, with an estimated fan base of around 4 million. The club have also made a contribution to popular culture, appearing in films and the music charts. Section 1. History For more details on this topic, see the article entitled History of Chelsea FC. Chelsea were founded on the 14th of March 1905 at the Rising Sun pub, now the Butcher's Hook, opposite the present-day main entrance to the ground on Fulham Road and were elected to the Football League shortly afterwards. The club's early years saw little success. The closest they came to winning a major trophy was reaching the FA Cup final in 1915, where they lost to Sheffield United. Chelsea gained a reputation for signing big-name players and for being entertainers, but made little impact on the English game in the interwar years. Former England centre-forward Ted Drake became manager in 1952 and proceeded to modernise the club. He removed the club's Chelsea pensioner crest, improved the youth setup and training regime, rebuilt the side, and led Chelsea to their first major trophy success, the League Championship, in 1954-1955. The following season saw UEFA create the European Champions Cup, but after objections from the Football League and the FA, Chelsea were persuaded to withdraw from the competition before it started. The 1960s saw the emergence of a talented young Chelsea side under manager Tommy Doherty. They challenged for honours throughout the decade and endured several near misses. They were on course for a treble of League, FA Cup and League Cup going into the final stages of the 1964-1965 season, winning the League Cup but faltering late on in the other two. In three seasons the side were beaten in three major semi-finals and were FA Cup runners-up. In 1970 Chelsea were FA Cup winners beating Leeds United 2-1 in a final replay. Chelsea took their first European honour, a UEFA Cup Winners' Cup triumph, the following year, with another replay win, this time over Real Madrid in Athens. The late 1970s and the 1980s were a turbulent period for Chelsea. An ambitious redevelopment of Stamford Bridge threatened the financial stability of the club, star players were sold, and the team were relegated. Further problems were caused by a notorious hooligan element among the support, which was to plague the club throughout the decade. Chelsea were, at the nadir of their fortunes, acquired by Ken Bates for the nominal sum of £1, although by now the Stamford Bridge freehold had been sold to property developers, meaning the club faced losing their home. On the pitch, the team had fared little better, coming close to relegation to the third division for the first time. But in 1983, manager John Neal put together an impressive new team for minimal outlay. Chelsea won the second division title in 1983-1984 and established themselves in the top division before being relegated again in 1988. The club bounced back immediately by winning the second division championship in 1988-1989. After a long-running legal battle, Bates reunited the stadium freehold with the club in 1992 by doing a deal with the banks of the property developers who had been bankrupted by a market crash. 
Chelsea's form in the new Premier League was unconvincing, although they did reach the FA Cup final in 1994. It was not until the appointment of former European Footballer of the Year Ruud Hullet as player manager in 1996 that their fortunes changed. He added several top-class international players to the side, particularly Gianfranco Zola, as the club won the FA Cup in 1997 and established themselves as one of England's top sides again. Hullet was replaced by Gianluca Viali, who led the team to victory in the League Cup and the Cup Winners' Cup in 1998, the FA Cup in 2000, and the UEFA Champions League quarter-finals in 2000. Viali was sacked in favour of another Italian, Claudio Ranieri, who guided Chelsea to the 2002 FA Cup final and Champions League qualification in 2002-2003. In June 2003, Bates sold Chelsea to Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich for £140 million, completing what was then the biggest ever sale of an English football club. Owing to Abramovich's Russian heritage, the club was soon popularly dubbed Chelsky in the British media. Over £100 million was spent on new players, but Ranieri was unable to deliver any trophies, so he was replaced by successful Portuguese coach José Mourinho, who had just guided FC Porto to victory in the UEFA Champions League. In 2005, Chelsea's centenary year, the club became Premiership champions in a record-breaking season, most clean sheets, fewest goals conceded, most victories, most points earned, League Cup winners with a 3-2 win over Liverpool at the Millennium Stadium, and reached the Champions League semi-finals. The following year, they were again league champions, equaling their own Premiership record of 29 wins set the previous season. They also became the fifth team to win back-to-back -back championships since the Second World War, and the first London club to do so since Arsenal in 1933-1934. In 2007, Chelsea won the League Cup for the second time in three years. Section 2. Stamford Bridge For more details on this topic, see the article entitled Stamford Bridge Stadium. Chelsea have only ever had one home ground, Stamford Bridge, where they have played since foundation. It was officially opened on the 28th of April 1877. For the first 28 years of its existence, it was used almost exclusively by the London Athletics Club as an arena for athletics meetings, and not at all for football. In 1904, the ground was acquired by businessman Gus Mears and his brother J.T. Mears, who had previously acquired additional land, formerly a large market garden, with the aim of staging football matches on the now 12.5 acre, or 51,000 square metre, site. Stamford Bridge was designed for the Mears family, by the noted football architect Archibald Leach. They offered the stadium to Fulham Football Club, but the offer was turned down. As a consequence, the owners decided to form their own football club to occupy their new ground. Most football clubs were founded first, and then sought grounds in which to play, but Chelsea were founded for Stamford Bridge. Since there was already a football club named Fulham in the borough, the founders decided to adopt the name of the adjacent borough of Chelsea for the new club, having rejected names such as Kensington FC, Stamford Bridge FC, and London FC. Starting with an open, bowl-like design and one covered terrace, Stamford Bridge had an original capacity of around 100,000. The early 1930s saw the construction of a terrace on the southern part of the ground, with a roof that covered around one-fifth of the stand. It eventually became known as the Shed End, the home of Chelsea's most loyal and vocal supporters, particularly during the 1960s, 70s and 80s. The exact origins of the name are unclear, but the fact that the roof looked like a corrugated iron shed roof played a part. During the late 1960s and early 70s, the club's owners embarked on a modernisation of Stamford Bridge, with plans for a 50,000 all-seater stadium. Work began on the East Stand in the early 1970s, but the cost almost brought the club to its knees, and the freehold was sold to property developers. Following a long legal battle, it was not until the mid-1990s that Chelsea's future at the stadium was secured and renovation work resumed. The north, west and southern parts of the ground were converted into all-seater stands and moved closer to the pitch, a process completed by 2001. The Stamford Bridge pitch, the freehold, the turnstiles and Chelsea's naming rights are now owned by Chelsea pitch owners a non-profit organisation in which fans are the shareholders. The CPO was created to ensure the stadium could never again be sold to developers. 
It also means that if someone tries to move the football club to a new stadium, they could not use the Chelsea FC name. The club plans to increase its capacity to over 50,000. Owing to its location in a built-up part of London, on a main road, and next to two railway lines, fans can only enter the stadium through the Fulham Road entrance, which places severe constraints on expansion due to health and safety regulations. As a result, Chelsea have been linked with a move away from Stamford Bridge to sites including the Earls Court Exhibition Centre, Battersea Power Station and the Chelsea Barracks. However, the club have reiterated their desire to keep Chelsea at their current home. Section 3. Crest Since the club's foundation, Chelsea have had four main crests, though all underwent minor variations. In 1905, Chelsea adopted as their first crest the image of a Chelsea pensioner, which obviously contributed to the pensioner nickname, and remained for the next half century, though it never appeared on the shirts. As part of Ted Drake's modernisation of the club from 1952 onwards, he insisted that the pensioner badge be removed from the matchday programme in order to change the club's image, and that a new crest be adopted. As a stopgap, a temporary emblem, comprising simply the initials CFC, was adopted for one year. In 1953, Chelsea's crest was changed to an upright blue lion looking backwards and holding a staff, which was to endure for the next three decades. This crest was based on elements in the coat of arms of the Metropolitan Borough of Chelsea, with the lion rampant regardant taken from the arms of then club president Viscount Chelsea, and the staff from the abbots of Westminster, former lords of the manor of Chelsea. It also featured three red roses, to represent England, and two footballs. This was the first club badge to appear on shirts, since the policy of putting the crest on the shirts was only adopted in the early 1960s. In 1986, with new owners now at the club, Chelsea's crest was changed again as part of another attempt to modernise and to capitalise on new marketing opportunities. The new badge featured a more naturalistic, non-heraldic lion, yellow and not blue, standing over the CFC initials. It lasted for the next 19 years, with some modifications such as the use of different colours. With new ownership and the club's centenary approaching, combined with demands from fans for the club's traditional badge to be restored, it was decided that the crest should be changed again in 2004. The new crest was officially adopted for the start of the 2005-2006 season and marks a return to the older design of the blue heraldic lion holding a staff. As with previous crests, this one has appeared in various colours, including white and gold. Section 4. Colours Chelsea have always worn blue shirts, although they initially adopted a lighter shade than the current version and, unlike today, wore white shorts and dark blue socks. The lighter blue was taken from the racing colours of then-club president Earl Cadogan. The light blue shirts were short-lived, however, and replaced by a royal blue version in around 1912. When Tommy Doherty became manager in the early 1960s, he changed the kit again, adding blue shorts, which have remained ever since, and white socks, believing it made the club's colours more distinctive, since no other major side used that combination. This kit was first worn during the 1964-1965 season. Chelsea's traditional away colours are all yellow or all white with blue trim, but as with most teams, they have had some more unusual ones. The first away strip consisted of black and white stripes, and for one game in the 1960s, the team wore Inter Milan-style blue and black stripes, again at Doherty's behest. Other memorable away kits include a mint green strip in the 1980s, a red and white checked one in the early 90s, and a graphite and tangerine edition in the mid-1990s. The current Chelsea away strip consists of a white shirt with two thin blue lines running up to the collar. It is worn with white shorts and white socks, although the socks can be worn as blue depending on the opposition's kit. Chelsea also launched a European kit, which consists of black shirts, shorts and socks. Chelsea's kit is currently manufactured by Adidas, which is contracted to supply the club's kit from 2006 to 2011. Their previous kit manufacturer was Umbra, Chelsea's first shirt sponsor was Gulf Air, agreed midway through the 1983-1984 season. Following that, the club was sponsored by Grange Farms, By Lim Tea and Italian company Simod before a long-term deal was signed with computer manufacturer Commodore International in 1989. Amiga, an offshoot of Commodore, also appeared on the shirts. 
Chelsea was subsequently sponsored by Coors Beer, 1995-97, Autoglass, 1997-2001, and Emirates Airline, 2001-2005. Chelsea's current shirt sponsor is Samsung Mobile. Section 5. Supporters Chelsea have the fifth highest average all-time attendance in English football and regularly attract over 40,000 fans to Stamford Bridge. They were the fifth best supported Premiership team in the 2005-2006 season with an average gate of 41,870. Chelsea's traditional fan base comes from working class parts of West London such as Hammersmith and Battersea, from wealthier areas like Chelsea and Kensington and from the home counties. The club estimates its UK fan base at around 4 million. In addition to the standard football chants, Chelsea fans sing songs like Carefree, We All Follow the Chelsea, to the tune of Land of Hope and Glory, Ten Men Went to Mow, and the celebratory Celery, with the latter often resulting in fans ritually throwing celery. Chelsea do not have an obvious rivalry in the manner that Liverpool and Everton or Arsenal and Tottenham Hotspur do. The club's nearest neighbours are Fulham, but they are not seen as big rivals by Chelsea fans because the clubs have spent most of the last 40 years in separate divisions. A 2004 survey by PlanetFootball.com found that Chelsea fans consider their main rivalries to be with, in order, Arsenal, Tottenham Hotspur and Manchester United. Additionally, a strong rivalry with Leeds United dates back to several heated and controversial matches in the 1960s and 1970s, particularly the FA Cup final in 1970. A more recent rivalry has grown with Liverpool following several clashes in cup competitions. In European competition, Chelsea's biggest rivals are Barcelona, with the two competing to be among the best sides in Europe and having played in some highly controversial matches in the UEFA Champions League in recent seasons. During the 1970s and 1980s in particular, Chelsea supporters were long associated with football hooliganism. The club's football firm, known as the Chelsea Headhunters, became nationally notorious for violent acts against hooligans from other teams, such as West Ham United's Intercity firm and Millwall's Bushwhackers, both during and after matches. The increase in hooliganism in the 1980s led Chairman Ken Bates to propose an electric fence to deter them from invading the pitch. The proposal was rejected by the GLC, the Greater London Council. Chelsea's hooligan elements were revealed to have links with neo-Nazi groups such as Combat 18 and other far-right or racist organisations, including the British National Party. Since the 1990s, there has been a marked decline in crowd trouble at matches as a result of stricter policing, CCTV in grounds and the advent of all-seater stadia. Section 6. Club Records For more details on this topic, see the article entitled Chelsea FC Statistics. Chelsea's highest appearance maker is ex-captain Ron Harris, who played in 795 first-class games for the club between 1961 and 1980. This record is unlikely to be broken in the near future. Chelsea's current highest appearance maker is Frank Lampard with 317. The record for a Chelsea goalkeeper is held by Harris's contemporary Peter Bonetti, who made 729 appearances from 1959 to 1979. With 116 caps, 67 while at the club, Marcel Desailles of France is Chelsea's most capped international player. Bobby Tambling is Chelsea's all-time top goalscorer, with 202 goals in 370 games from 1959 to 1970. Six other players have also scored over 100 goals for Chelsea. George Hilston, 1906-1912, George Mills, 1929-1939, Roy Bentley, 1948 to 1956, Jimmy Greaves, 1957 to 1961, Peter Osgood, 1964 to 1974 and 1978 to 1979, and Kerry Dixon, 1983 to 1992, who is the only player in the club's recent history to have come close to matching Tambling's record with 193 goals. Greaves holds the record for the most goals scored in one season, 43 in 1960-61. Chelsea's current top scorer is Frank Lampard with 89. Lampard's 16 goals in the 2005-2006 season is a record for a midfielder in the English Premier League. Officially, Chelsea's highest home attendance is 82,905 for a first division match against Arsenal on the 12th of October 1935. 
However, an estimated crowd of over 100,000 attended a friendly match against Soviet team Dynamo Moscow on the 13th of November 1945. The modernisation of Stamford Bridge during the 1990s and the introduction of all-seater stands means that neither record will be broken for the foreseeable future. The current legal capacity of Stamford Bridge is 42,055. Chelsea hold numerous records in English and European football. They hold the record for the highest points total for a league season, 95, the fewest goals conceded during a league season, 15, the most consecutive clean sheets during a league season, 10, the highest number of Premier League victories in a season, 29, the highest number of clean sheets overall in a Premier League season, 25, all set during the 2004-2005 season, and the most consecutive clean sheets from the start of a league season, 6 in 2005-2006. Their 21-0 aggregate victory over Jeunesse au Charage in the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1971 remains a record in European competition. Chelsea may also hold the British transfer record, but the fee for Andrei Shevchenko, estimated at around £30 million, remains unconfirmed. Chelsea have recorded several firsts in English football. Along with Arsenal, they were the first club to play with shirt numbers on the 25th of August 1928 in their match against Swansea Town. Chelsea were the first English side to travel by aeroplane to a domestic away match when they visited Newcastle United on the 19th of April 1957, and the first First Division side to play on match on a Sunday when they faced Stoke City on the 27th of January 1974. On the 26th of December 1999, Chelsea became the first British side to field an entirely foreign, non-UK starting lineup in a Premier League match against Southampton. Section 7 in popular culture. In 1930, Chelsea featured in one of the earliest football films, The Great Game. One time Chelsea centre forward Jack Cock, who was by then playing for Millwall, was the star of the film, and several scenes were shot at Stamford Bridge, including the pitch, the boardroom, and the dressing rooms. It included guest appearances by then Chelsea players Andrew Wilson, George Mills, and Sam Millington. Owing to the notoriety of the Chelsea headhunters, a football firm associated with the club, Chelsea have also featured in films about football hooliganism, most recently The Football Factory. Chelsea also appear in the Hindi film Jum Baraba Jum. Up until the 1950s, the club had a long-running association with the music halls, with their underachievement often providing material for comedians such as George Roby. It culminated in comedian Norman Long's release of a comic song in 1933, ironically titled On the Day That Chelsea Went and Won the Cup, the lyrics of which describe a series of bizarre and improbable occurrences on the hypothetical day when Chelsea finally won a trophy. The song Blue is the Colour was released as a single in the build-up to the 1972 League Cup final, with all members of Chelsea's first team squad singing. It reached number five in the UK singles chart. The song was later adapted to White is the Colour and adopted as an anthem by the Vancouver Whitecaps. In the build-up to the 1997 FA Cup final, the song Blue Day, performed by Suggs and members of Chelsea's squad, reached number 22 in the UK charts. Brian Adams, a fan of Chelsea, dedicated the song We're Gonna Win from the album 18 Till I Die to the club. Section 8. Current Squad First Team Squad, as of 21st of January 2007. Squad number 1. Player. Petr Cech. Position, goalkeeper. Nationality, Czech Republic. Number three, Ashley Cole. Defender, England. Number four, Claude Makaleli. Midfielder, France. Number five, Michael Essien. Midfielder, Ghana. Number six, Ricardo Carvalho. Defender, Portugal. Number seven, Andrei Shevchenko, forward, Ukraine. Number eight, Frank Lampard, midfielder, England. Number nine, Khalid Boularouge, defender, Netherlands. Number ten, Joe Cole, midfielder, England. Number eleven, Didier Drogba, forward, Cote d'Ivoire. Number twelve. John Obi Mikel, midfielder, Nigeria. Number 13, Michael Balak, midfielder, Germany.
Number 14. Jeremy Njita, Defender, Cameroon. Number 16. Arjen Robben, Midfielder, Netherlands. Number 18. Wayne Bridge, Defender, England. Number 19. Lassana Diara, Midfielder, France. Number 20. Paulo Ferreira, Defender, Portugal. Number 21. Salomon Kalou, Forward, Cote d'Ivoire. Number 22. Magnus Hedman, Goalkeeper, Sweden. Number 23. Carlo Cudicini, Goalkeeper, Italy. Number 24. Sean Wright Phillips, Midfielder, England. Number 26. John Terry, Captain, Defender, England. Number 40. Enrique Elario, Goalkeeper, Portugal. Players out on loan. Number 2. Glenn Johnson, Defender, England, at Portsmouth until May 2007. Number 30. Anthony Grant, Defender, England, at Wickham Wanderers until May 2007. Number 31. Scott Sinclair, Forward, England, at Plymouth Argyle until April 2007. No squad number. Alex. Defender. Brazil. At PSV Eindhoven until August 2008. No squad number. Jimmy Smith. Midfielder. England. At Queen's Park Rangers until May 2007. No squad number. Hernan Crespo. Forward. Argentina. At Internazionale until August 2008. No squad number. Juan Sebastián Verón, midfielder, Argentina, at Estudiantes until August 2008. No squad number. Alcides, defender, Brazil, at PSV Eindhoven until August 2008. For recent transfers, see the article entitled List of English Football Transfers 2006-2007. For reserve players, See the main article entitled Chelsea FC Reserves. Chelsea Player of the Year 1967 to 2006. See also the article entitled List of Chelsea FC Players. Year 1967. Winner Peter Bonetti, England. 1968. Charlie Cook, Scotland. 1969. David Webb, England. 1970 and 1971. John Hollins, England. 1972, David Webb, England. 1973, Peter Osgood, England. 1974, Gary Locke, England. 1975, Charlie Cook, Scotland. 1976 and 1977, Ray Wilkins, England. 1978, Mickey Droy, England. 1979, Tommy Langley, England. 1980, Clive Walker, England. 1981, Petar Barotta, Yugoslavia. 1982, Mike Fillory, England. 1983, Joey Jones, Wales. 1984, Pat Nevin, Scotland. 1985, David Speedy, Scotland. 1986, Eddie Nedzveski, Wales. 1987, Pat Nevin, Scotland. 1988, Tony Dorigo, England. 1989, Graham Roberts, England. 1990, Ken Munkow, Netherlands. 1991, Andy Townsend, Republic of Ireland. 1992, Paul Elliott, England. 1993, Frank Sinclair, Jamaica. 1994, Steve Clark, Scotland. 1995, Erland Jonsson, Norway. 1996, Ruud Hullet, Netherlands. 1997, Mark Hughes, Wales. 1998, Dennis Wise, England. 1999, Gianfranco Zola, Italy. 2000, Dennis Wise, England. 2001, John Terry, England. 2002, Carlo Cudicini, Italy. 2003, 
Gianfranco Zola, Italy, 2004 and 2005, Frank Lampard, England, 2006, John Terry, England. Section 9, Notable Managers. For more details on this topic, see the article entitled List of Chelsea FC Managers. The following managers have all won at least one trophy when in charge of Chelsea. Name, Ted Drake. Country, England. Period, 1952 to 1961. Trophies, First Division Championship, Charity Shield. Tommy Doherty, Scotland, 1962 to 1967, League Cup. Dave Sexton, England, 1967 to 1974, FA Cup, UEFA Cup Winners' Cup. John Neal, England, 1981 to 1985, Second Division Championship. Bobby Campbell, England, 1988 to 1991, Second Division Championship. Rude Hullet, 1996 to 1998, FA Cup. Gianluca Vialli, 1998 to 2000, FA Cup, League Cup, UEFA Cup Winners' Cup, Charity Shield, European Super Cup. Jose Mourinho, 2004 to present, two Premier Leagues, two League Cups, and Community Shield. Section 10, Team Honours. First Division or Premier League, 3, 1954-55, 2004-2005, 2005-2006 seasons. Second division, now first division. 2. 1983-84 and 1988-89 seasons. FA Cup. 3. 1970, 1997, 2000. League Cup. 4. 1965, 1998, 2005, 2007. FA Charity Shield, now Community Shield, 3, 1955, 2000, 2005. Full Members Cup, 2, 1986 and 1990. UEFA Cup Winners Cup, 2, 1971 and 1998. European Super Cup, 1, 1998. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation Licence, available at www.gnu.org forward slash copyleft forward slash fdl.html.